Manhattan tends to be really busy and fast paced at times, but you just go over the George Washington Bridge into New Jersey and it's complete opposite. There's more sense of community here and more laid back and peaceful. There's a lot of big sharks uh, across, the, across the river in New York City. Um, and for us, we thought it'd be more, um, I guess, reasonable to start out as a smaller company, to start in our neighborhood that we live in and, and directly influence the community that we are a part of. So we thought this was the best option for us. And so it was important to us to be a part of our community and give back to our community and provide them a space where they can come and gather together. My name is Justin Hicks. I'm the owner of Mod Cup Coffee, one of the owners, uh, as well as roaster for Mod Cup. We're based here in the lovely Jersey City Heights of New Jersey. Coffee is kind of in a transitional phase, I'd have to say. Uh, we're starting to look at coffee in a different light. It's no longer just this drug that we use to wake us up in the mornings, the caffeine obviously, even though that helps. Um, I think people are starting to understand that it is a perishable product uh, and that coffee, if it's roasted properly, can bring out a lot of different flavors and nuances that are what I would have to argue is more complex than wine itself. Um, and because of that, I think there's this new surge within America and seeing how other countries have evolved in the coffee industry that we're now approaching it in a different light, which some might say is third wave coffee, but you know, it depends on who you're asking. So the way we work as a company, um, we're looking for in-season crops, which I know that's kind of a plug word, but that's something that we very much focus on. Uh, our whole idea of coffee is based around freshly roasted coffee. So the, the coffee that we start with has to come fresh from our source. Um, we represent the top 5% of coffees grown around the world. So we're very selective as far as like the quality of coffees that we choose. But at any time or any given moment, we'll have coffees from Central South America, Indonesia, Africa, um, all over the world. We try to have anywhere between four to six coffees that are really representing uh, the best coffees at that given moment. About 10 years ago there, even five years ago, it used to be a little bit of a dangerous place there. It still kind of is a dangerous place up there, kind of block by block. So you get a lot of different types of people up there, which I love. It's, it's, you get people who are really, really poor, and then you get people moving up there that are, have a lot of money. And it's just this crazy clash of people up there right now. So it's really interesting to see a community like that changing. Right now it's interesting because it can turn into just about anything we want it to turn into in a way. We can kind of manipulate that and make it unique to itself uh, and turn Jersey City into like a, a destination spot and not another Brooklyn or another Manhattan or anything like that. So I think we have a really interesting canvas for building this neighborhood. And it's just now starting to get kind of moving. I like seeing my customers every day and seeing how they're doing and, and talking to them and just, I enjoy that part of my job. And uh, I don't want that ever to be really like taken away from me. And I think once you get to a certain level, you lose that connection with your customers on a personal basis. and. I don't know how I feel about that yet. Watch it free on Journey.